Hello everybody, welcome back to War Thunder. In today's video we're going to be spicing things up by rather than going out with a ground forces tank, today we're going to be going out with an air forces plane and that plane is going to be the Horton 229 V3, or a plane that I simply like to refer to as My Ho. Because My Ho is a sexy, unique thing. That's right. It has such an amazing design. I mean, look at this thing. Completely unique, no other plane has a design like this in the game. And that's what I love about it. However, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, maybe it was just me, but this thing looks like those boomerangs that Batman throws. You know what I'm talking about, right? The batarangs or bat wings or whatever they are? No? I don't know, well, I noticed it anyway. So in terms of specs, this thing I should mention is not fully upgraded. I have the most essential things like the compressor and engine, but the lesser ones like the fuselage repair, airframe and cover, I'm still to get. So my stats aren't going to be fully maxed out, but I'll still give you an idea of what this thing is like. So the Horn 229 comes out at a battle rating of 6.0, which is actually pretty damn low for a tier 5 plane. To give you a perspective of how low it is, there are certain tier 4 planes like the Ta, for example, and the Falco with D12 that has a battle rating of 6.3, which is actually higher than the battle rating for the Horton. Or to give you even more perspective, there's the Falco with 190 A5U2, that thing that has been nerfed, which has a battle rating of 6.0 now, which puts it on the same par as the Horton, except the difference is the tiers, 3 and 5. So, in terms of speed, this thing can get up to about 900 kilometers per hour. However, this thing will almost never be at that unless in a dive. This thing is actually very, very slow. So, don't be misled by the speed thinking that it's going to be very, very fast. It is, in fact, very, very slow. And you'll especially feel it when you turn in this thing. When it has speed, it can maintain it in a straight line. But the moment you turn, you bleed a lot of it and it's very, very hard to pick up again. Turn time is 34.6 which I don't think is actually all that accurate. I think this actually turns pretty damn well for a jet, but I think that's down to the design. It's pretty awesome. It can turn pretty quickly. Uh, rate of climb, 21.9. It's probably not going to be that great, actually, because it's quite a slow jet. And its armament is a double 30 millimeter cannon, which you have many different belts in order to use in. And you know how most planes I would recommend using stealth ammo? Reason being because without the tracer in there, that means there's more damaging components. And so you do more damage to planes. However, this time I would actually recommend using the air targets belt with the Ho 229. Because the air targets belt and the stealth is completely different. Stealth is using API, armor piercing incendiary. Air targets is using HE. That's high explosive. And it's also incendiary as well. High explosive incendiary. Now that just sounds a lot more lethal to me than armor piercing. And you in fact do more damage. It's not to say that stealth ammo isn't good. It actually is good. But the HE belts are better. And so that is the Horton 229. I guess you could go also into the armor values and you'll notice that there's nothing there. There's actually supposed to be a little cue that comes up that shows you there is no armor protection on this plane. And whenever you see that, that makes you a little bit worried. Oh dear. Internally, this is what it looks like. Engines right down the middle next to the cockpit, guns right next to the engines, fuel tanks right next to the guns, and then a whole lot of nothingness right on the end, except you've got your traction sort of things, because these are where your ailerons are at the very, yeah, back over here. And that's what it is. All right, so that is the Horton 229. I'm excited to go out with this thing. Let's go. Okay, so there's a few things I want to mention about the whole 229. The fact is, I tried to purposely lower my BR. If you take a look here, I got 6.0, 5.3, 5.3, which makes sense because I need to have 6.0 minus 0.7 in order to have other 5.3 and below planes if I want to try to lower my BR most optimally with this thing. And it has worked. There's only one other jet on the enemy team and the rest are props so far anyway. The others haven't spawned in. That's what it is. But I'm not joking by when I say this thing cannot really climb or have speed. Like, look at that. I was in a slight dive, or a slight climb rather, and I ha had hardly any speed. Like, that's just how bad this thing is. If anything, you have to boom and zoom in this. You can't just, like, rely on turn fighting because the fact is, if you're against other prop planes, then... Well, put it this way. They can turn better than you, and a lot of prop planes can actually catch up to you if you don't have speed. Because, yes, a lot of planes can actually dive faster than this thing. That's how terrible it is, right? So, I'm going to try to make sure I'm uh, around my teammates. 
And I know this sounds, this sounds really bad. Like I can't, you can't believe that a jet is actually having to rely on teammates and prop playing can actually catch up to it. But it's true. It's a Horton 229. It's not only one of the worst jets, but it's probably one of the worst planes in the entire game. And that's mostly for its tier. If it was against biplanes, which I'm not saying it should be, uh, then okay, it'll probably do fine. But against the tier four props and tier five jets, it's literally one of the worst planes in the game. Uh, no joke. Uh, if I get more than one kill, uh, I would be lucky. Put it like that, alright? That, that's how awful the thing is. <laughs> it is possible, but it's it's unlikely. Let me try to go for easier targets, like the year or two up here. That looks a bit nice. I think this is where my 30mm cannon could actually excel. Okay. Yeah, I'm going a steep, steep climb, and the year two's gone. Alrighty then. What about this F8F -F down there? That looks pretty enticing. It's like I want to go for that furball so badly, but I know if I do, I'll probably die. Another thing about this plane is that it flies very wonky and it's hard to set down your reticle on a target. Watch this. This might be weird. Okay, I got it. That's fine. That wasn't that weird. But especially when you're chasing after an enemy and they're in a straight line, it's really hard to center down this thing. And I can't really explain that feeling unless you've actually tried it yourself by using the Horton 229 or a similar plane that has wonkiness like the XP-55 or the J7W1, you know those prop planes with the engine at the, the prop at the back? <laughs> it's because of just the way that the thing is designed and set up, it's just really hard for it to center down on a target. Like the whole thing almost has to rotate for it to center down, it's strange. I guess the only way to combat that is to use your flaps, like, you know, to the left, to the right, sort of like yaw, I guess. That's probably the best thing. That's what it is. Alright, here we go. Next attack, methinks. I really have to choose my targets very carefully. It sounds so strange for a jet to do that. But it's it's so freaking true. I can't I can't just get away from targets. You have to understand this. Oh IL 10 looks very, very nice. I will admit, all by itself, looks very, very nice. Only thing that's making me a little bit paranoid is that P63 in the back, but I think I should be able to get away from it in time. Alright, here we go. This is my attack run. Alright, watch the speed. 600 going up to 700. That's pretty good, actually. That's not bad. I've seen props reach that speed, though. Fuck's sake. Okay, what about this one? He's being chased after. Here we go. Okay, the wonkiness is inbound. Wonkiness inbound. See, I can't, I can't center down. That's it. I can't center down, dude. And now I'm just flying away. I'm flying away. Go away. See, that P63 wants to come after me. No. No, 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 no. 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 Look how it's still able to maintain almost good speed. I mean, I'm getting away, but it's not like by a huge margin where, where like a lot of jets would just be just gone, you know? Okay, this thing is... Yeah, there we go. I have to rely on my teammates. Put it like this. I can't outturn that thing. The only thing I can try to do is outspeed it. That's it. And what I'm going to try to do in the meantime is actually climb a little bit here. Now I'm going to go down because I want to finish him off. Okay. My attack run. Inbound. P63. Freedom plane. See so you take on the might of a never existing plane. Alright, here we go. Woo! Beauty of these HE belts. You can actually see the tracers a little bit. Yeah! Nice! That was good. Okay, now I fly away. Fly to my side. Wow, this is terrible. The game's almost over. How many bombers are there? There's like only two enemy bombers. What the fuck? Whatever. It is what it is. Is that HS killed? Oh no, the duck's still alive. There we go. Let me get this duck plane. Do 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 do. My HE belts are really good at taking down said planes. Do massive damage. Look at that. Gone. See, that's why I love the HE belts. Okay. There's a Falk Wolf over there. And there's a mountain in front of me. I think I'm more worried about the mountain right now. Uh oh. Falk Wolf is gaining speed. He's gaining speed. I think he's going for the BF-109. I just want him to turn around and then I'll engage him. Because at any moment he could turn around as well. Or I could wait for my teammates to come in. Whatever, you know what? The game's almost over. Fuck it. I'm going in. Oh. Oh dear. Not a big fat enough head-ons. Let alone in this jet. 
HE belt's nice, but Falkworth in the head on. Uh, pretty good chance Falkworth might win. LE7, you want a piece of the Horton? Horton, here's a who. Hi. Whoops. Okay, see, this is the awesome turn time in this thing. Look at that. Oh my god. For a jet, that's pretty damn good. Look at that. It just turns so easily. Yes, I'm out turning a prop plane. Then again, he's probably damaged. Okay, now the wonkiness of... Yeah. Centering down my sights. Whatever, that wasn't too bad, though. Okay, Yak 3P. Oh my god, I'm dogfighting. The only reason I'm doing this right now is because I've got my teammates around me and there's only one enemy to deal with. See, okay, I'm trying to, but now this is the wonkiness. I know I'll keep on saying wonkiness, wonkiness, wonkiness. Get over it, but that's all I can really describe it. Impossible to send it down. It went a bit far too much downwards. Now, now, now that was on. Whew! Okay. I am actually surprised I've got five kills. This plane does not normally get kills. I'm not gonna lie, guys. You might get, like, one at best. Donier all the way up there. I think he's trying to finish off the last target, and then that's us. Done and dead. Yeah, that's it. I can't even climb up to there if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm so slow. <laughs> so bad. Okie dokie. So I came second place uh, with five kills there. Most kills on the team. Most kill on both teams, actually. And these are my rewards if you're interested to see them. Alrighty then, same thing, and looks like the matchmaking is pretty damn good. MiG-9s is probably my worst enemy. MiG-9s, F-80Cs, ones that I could probably see because of my battle rating. Those are my worst enemies. Actually, to be honest, most things are my worst enemies. Everything is my worst enemy! <laughs> if you couldn't tell from the last game, I'm not really... I can't really rely on myself. I have to rely on my teammates around me. I'm kind of like a parasite or a leech. Or like a sheep. I can't, I can't be sick, I can't be by myself. I have to follow the herd, sort of thing. Yeah, that would be the best thing to describe myself. Look at that big nine down there. I wonder if he's coming for me. That would suck. Uh, I might actually have to deal with it though. I might actually go down. The better, the, if I can kill a jet, the better it would be. Cause then I know definitely that there's not something really speedy in the sky that could just come down and pwn me. Would always be nice. But you know what? There's a lot of bombers going this direction, and knowing how this plane is like, I should really try to go for these free kills. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, there's a talk coming. There's actually a fucking talk coming. And he is fast. Oh, he is fast. I have to make sure that when uh, I don't turn around until I have made sure that the coast is clear. See, that's HE belts. Love it, dude. Such a fast clearer of things. Tried. No! Oh, no! Oh, I got a. I took an arrow to the engine. Okay, I took a bullet to the engine. Fuck's sake, man. And that's another frustrating thing. Okay. Uh, just like any jet, if you get shot in the engine and you get caught on fire. You will remain on fire. That fire does not go out. So one slight little bullet. Yeah, and that's the end of the thing. So there you have it. That's the Horton 229. Although it looks absolutely stunning and amazing on the battlefield, it's not that great. That's what it is. So my question of the episode of the day is if you have the Horton 229, what do you think about it? And also what plane or tank would you like to see me go out with in the next episode? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this and until the next video, this is Krebs and I'll catch you all next time.